Hello my friends, Matthew Deary checking in today. And lately I've been making such long videos. I wanted an exercise, just making a little shorty. I'm here in Minnesota at 7 a.m. The sun's about to rise, so I'm gonna take my Mavic 3 and I'm just gonna go record uh, the sunrise. And it's also uh, zero degrees out. It feels like negative 12, so I have a fully charged battery here. So let's uh, do a little test as well and see how the Mavic 3 stands up to the cold, kind of check uh, battery performance. If you think it looks bright and you think, how is that happening? I have my, have my Titan tube that is illuminating me because I was just so dark and I didn't feel like that was going to be optimal for a video producer to be underexposed. So i um, got that. So I've got the drone ready to go. Still waiting for connectivity with satellites. Sometimes that has been a little annoying with the Mavic 3. Sometimes connectivity to um, more than, you know, 10-ish satellites is, I think it might be 10 or 13, I don't remember exactly, is where you're in the safe zone. And right now I only have six. So we're waiting for that to, to update so we can take off. Mechanical, but lifelike face. I'm gonna murder you. I understand, just one sec. All right, my hands are freezing right now. It definitely feels like negative 12. I am currently filming a hyperlapse on the drone. Have a, it says it has about 30 minutes of flight time left, 61% of the battery. And filming the hyperlapse as fate would have it, we don't really have a sunrise because it's cloudy, but it still could look cool. You can see cars zipping and smoke rising out of homes. Definitely is not the cleanest course lock. I want to speak to you, manager, now. It's a little annoying to me that after you shoot the hyperlapse, it synthesizes the video while you're in flight. I would actually prefer to maybe do that after you land, but when I shoot in the video portion, I like to be shooting in D-Log, and as you can see here, it switches me back to D-Log, and when I go to hyperlapse, it switches me back into the the standard color profile for DJI, which looks fine, but I would like it if we could shoot these master shots and quick shots in D-Log. The convenient thing is it will switch over just by itself. So when I go back into video, it just goes right back into our flat D-Log profile. Right now we have about 20% of the battery left and I'm about 1700 feet away. So I'm gonna start bringing this home. So looking at the timer on my phone, we got just under 37 minutes of flight time in zero degree weather, which actually feels like negative 12. And when you get up in the air, it's actually colder. So it's probably closer to like negative 20 degrees. So in negative 20-ish degree weather, we got about 37 minutes of flight time and that's shooting some 4K video, taking some photos and doing a hyperlapse. We got about 1600 feet away until we brought the drone back. And so that's a pretty good result, I would say. Um, obviously it's not the 46 minutes that DJI advertises, but still really good from that perspective. So. Um, I'm definitely happy with being able to have 37 plus minutes of flight time, even in these um, less than ideal conditions. I'm glad that I live in Frigid, Minnesota, so I could do this experiment for you. You're welcome. I can feel my body. I hope you enjoyed watching me take the Mavic 3 on this journey. And if you've liked the video, go ahead and like, the, like it. Hit the like button below. And uh, if you want, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I and mean, we've got 300 now, so we are blowing up. That is all I have for now. Matthew Deary signing out. I love you, friends. the first line and the last line and all of the other lines and instead just walk up to the mic and meow really loudly.